Hey everyone, it's the Awesome Dan here, and today I'll be talking to you guys about Pokemon Go. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying the game is absolutely horrible or the game is bad and nothing like that. This game's actually very fun. <laughs> I have it on my phone, every time I walk out the house I always load it up. This game's really fun. And it's actually really, really interesting. I like the way that Nintendo actually did this. Because it's actually encouraging people to actually get out the house more. Encouraging them to walk and exercise more. And that's what I really like to see in a, in a mobile game like this. It kind of copies... I don't know if you guys heard about this game that came before it, but the game before this was basically called Ingress. Which was sort of the same concept of Pokemon Go. Which some are saying that Pokemon Go is sort of the spiritual successor to Ingress. But... Ingress was sort of like Pokemon Go, but except it didn't have much of the hype or like much of the acknowledgement that Pokemon has. But this game is actually very, very fun. What you do, basically the concept of the game is that you walk around in real world time and capture Pokemon, like virtual Pokemon, put them up in gyms, battle against other trainers, you know, level up your Pokemon, evolve your Pokemon, you know, do the whole Pokemon experience. And it's basically encouraging you to walk, it's encouraging you to exercise, encouraging you to get out the house. And that is what I, that's what I personally love about this game so much, that it's encouraging you to, you know, walk in the house. So, like, if you, know, if you want to lose weight or something like that, I'm not saying this game is like, no, Pokemon Go is like the best of weight, like, no, like, lose weight now, play Pokemon Go, but it's actually like a great starter. Like, just, just walking like a few blocks or like a few miles a day, you know, could really actually do a lot for your body. It can actually help reduce stress. It can help, you know, with heart, with heart conditions. It can help, you know, tone your muscles. And what better way to do it than play a game while you're doing it? But there's a lot of few, there's a lot of things about this game I wish they sort of changed. For instance, I wish that you can trade Pokemon with with friends. Like say, like you link to a friend, and like you know, your friend has this really cool Pokemon that you want. And you have this really cool Pokemon that he wants. I mean, it w I wish it was like sort of like a trade function. Like, hey, you know, like like, there's a, like they do in like the other Pokemon games. They can trade amongst friends. But I do heard, there are rumors that they're actually going to do that in the future. I don't know if they're true or not. Leave in the comment section if you know it's true or not. Because I really want to trade some Pokemon. But another feature in this game I really, really want to have is battling like player battles not like the gym battling like playing pokemon go he was in a bad neighborhood and he was unfortunately stabbed and instead of receiving medical treatment he refused to have medical treatment on the purpose of him wanting to continue playing pokemon go now the guy's fine but but don't worry the guy's fine the guy's actually okay he's fine he's probably still out there playing pokemon go but if your gang st if you got stabbed put down the fucking game like if you're, like, about to cross a street, put down the game. Like, the game is not worth your life. Like, catching that next Pikachu is really not worth your life. I mean, because if you're dead, then you're not playing Pokemon Go. You can't play Pokemon Go if you're dead. It's, it's, that's it. Like, if if you are if you got stabbed, or, or fortunately, you know, God forbid, if you get stabbed, or if you, like, get hit by a car or something like that, put down the game. Like... It is seriously not worth it. Like, I know it's like, oh, so revolutionary to all this stuff, but it's just a game. At the end of the day, it's just a game, and it's not worth your life or anything else like that. Just put it down. Like, once in a while, just... Like, it's not worth it. It's really not worth your life. But another thing that I really, really like that... Okay, it's, away from the negative, let's go, let's go back to the positive of Pokemon Go. It's that right there. The three teams... Team Mystic, Team Valor, and Team Mystic. <coughs> team Mystic, Team Valor, and Team Instinct. The, the, and once you, leave, once you reach level 5 in Pokemon Go, you have a choice of joining three teams. The Red Valor, Blue Mystic, or Yellow Instinct. Now, personally, I would I love to go... I, I love all three of them, but... I'm gonna. I want to let. I want to let you guys guess. Guess which team I'm on. Get guess. If you guess correctly, you get a. You get a high five. You get a hearty darty Danny high five. So you leave. Wait. Leave in the comment section. What team do you think I'm on? And what team are you guys on? I really want to know. Like. Like where. Like what. Like what are the demographics? Like what teams you guys are on? And like what team you're representing? But I really like the whole three team system. How you really choose a side. You choose a faction. But the one thing I wish they could have done with this is that you can find other members in your faction and, like, do faction missions. Like, say, like, you know, a faction mission for Team Valor, since their fire is, like, capture, you know, 
this many fire type Pokemon, or if like your team instinct, which is like electric, you like capture this many electric type Pokemon or this type of Pokemon that raises like your like team rank. And like, and it, maybe like the end of the month, or, like the end of the week, or like, or it, maybe like the end of few months, and like, who knows, like maybe like every month, you know, it shows like which team like banded together and came on top. And that's what I really think that this game should do. And li like what it does with the whole, like, friend battle system, of how it will bring people together. Like, just imagine, like, a whole b bunch of people, a whole bunch of strangers, gather in a park to capture a certain amount of Pokemon for their team. You know, that's a bunch of people that you could be meeting, you know, with friends you could be making, possible relationships you could be getting into, you know, new experiences you can get. Just imagine, like, a bunch of people band together to make their team number one and doing all the things to make their team number one and just showing like their Pokemon spirit, how much they love Pokemon and all that and just being Pokemon fans together. That is what I think will make this game incredibly, incredibly more hype than it really is. So I'm not going to lie that this game does have some of its, you know, flaws and all that. Like the whole server issue thing is really kind of like it's getting to the point where it's like really Nintendo come on pick it up because there, there are a bunch of times where I'm playing Pokemon Go and the game just crashes and I won't be able to play it for like another like hour or so because the servers are down it's like come on Nintendo come on pick it up like you know that this game's gonna be hype you knew the second you launched it that this game was gonna be worldwide hype I mean, countrywide, not where I don't think Pokemon Go is released worldwide. I think it's still only in either Japan, Australia, and America. That's why. That's why I think. I'm not sure. I might be wrong. I might be totally wrong on that. But that's why I think. So, you, they knew there was gonna be hype. So the servers are also down. Another thing that I really didn't like of how some of the Pokestops and some of the gyms were in a little bit inappropriate locations. Like, I've read somewhere that they, um, people have asked Nintendo to take down a Pokestop because at, the Pokestop was, at, was inside a Holocaust memorial. And a lot of people were coming there just to capture Pokemon and just to get Pokestops. And I think that's really, really disrespectful and really, like, inappropriate. Like, I get the game is good, but don't have, like, major Pokestops or major Pokegems. <laughs> Poke gyms, major Pokestops and gyms in locations that could potentially be deemed inappropriate. Because, you know, having a location, like, having, like, a Pokestop at, like, a store or, like, a company. Like, if you have, like, a Pokestop at, like, I don't know, Microsoft. And, like, if Microsoft has an office, you know, someplace, and there's a Pokestop there, you know, that's not really such a bad thing. Like, you know, that's not disrespectful. You're not hurting anybody, you know. People walk past, you know... Microsoft buildings all the time. People walk past big major company buildings all the time. You know, those companies are usually in the city, and people, and there's a bunch of people in the city. So you know, you can get like a bunch of people at the Pokemon, have a bunch of people fighting for that gym at the same time. You know, that's a lot of people, but you shouldn't be putting it in places that are inappropriate, like you know, memorials, and like other places that where it's basically like it's. Where, where you know it's inappropriate. Where you, you you know it's inappropriate. So, I'm just saying, that's my personal view. Like, it, don't put it in any place that's inappropriate. So, I, I'm, enough of my rambling. I want I want to leave it up to you guys. Let me know what you think of Pokemon Go. Do you think that my points that I made are valid or was I just being a rambling idiot? <laughs> do you think that my points actually sort of made sense? Or do you think that there's more points that could be made about Pokemon Go? They don't have to be negative. They can be positive. I, want, I really want to, know what, want to know what you guys think about Pokemon Go. Do you think it's, you know, a big revolutionary game that everyone's so hype about? Or do you think it's like, eh, been there, done that, it's not really that big. So, I want to, so that's like, that is your task, everybody. Let me know what you think of Pokemon Go. It could be bad, could be good, could be both. I want to know. So, thank you, thank you everybody for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and click that subscribe button, why don't you? And I'll be seeing you guys in the next awesomey, cooly part. Where Surprise, motherfucker! Ugh. Ugh. Ah, there, another guy comes out there. Oh, no. ah.